For the first time in 40 years, an American woman dominated the New York City Marathon. So I guess all good things really are worth the wait, especially when you're talking about running a casual, oh, no big deal, 26 miles. Some major props are in order for Shalane Flanagan, who came in first place in the New York City Marathon in the women's race. FYI, I have to point out, a Kenyan man by the name of Jeffrey Camroar took the men's title in a cool two hours, 10 minutes, and 53 seconds. Again, just like totally casual. Now it should be noted that our girl Shalane nabbed the first place medal, running the race in two hours, 26 minutes, and 53 seconds. Not kidding you guys, it took me that long to walk like three miles to Olive Garden last night and I was pretty proud of myself. So safe to say this woman is superhuman and I'm like totally into it. She has been working tirelessly to achieve this goal. She actually came in second place at the 2010 New York City Marathon, was injured recently and was unable to even compete at this year's Boston Marathon. It was her injury though that Shalane credits with getting her to where she is. She said, quote, I think it was a blessing that I got injured this past winter and I came here full of energy and motivation and desire to put on the best performance of my life. According to reports, Shalane, who FYI is 36 years old, totally killing it hardcore, she took her victory when she separated herself from the other runners with about three miles left, and as she neared the finish line, you could hear her audibly yell out, F yes, but like the other, not PG version of that phrase, if you know what I mean. Our major congrats go out to this American woman. What a badass. Hit the comments to join the convo, and if you're suddenly feeling inspired to take up running, let me know. Then click right over here to find out the insane story behind why Donald Trump's Twitter got shut down last week for 11 solid minutes. I'm Jocelyn Davis. Have a great day.